been chilled to the bone. What can Freddy be doing all this time? He's been gone for 20 minutes. Well, not so long, but he could have yeah, got a uh, cab by now. He won't get no cab. Not only half past 11 meters when they come back for dropping their customers. But you, we must have a cab. It's too dangerous to stay here until half past 11. Well, in number four meters, when Freddy had a bit of guts, he would have got in a cab in the theater door. <laughs> what could he have done? Poor boy. Other people got cabs. Well, how did you find the cab? There's not one for love, money. Oh, Freddy, there must be one. Did you try again? I tried. They were all engaged. I went as far as Cherry Cross Street, and there's nothing. Did you try Trafalgar Square? Of course, but there wasn't one at Trafalgar Square. Did you try? I tried as far as Cherry Cross Station. Did you expect me to go to Hammersmith? Now you haven't tried at all. You're really a very helpless friend. Go again and, and get us a cab, please. I guess I'm for nothing. And what about us? Are we to stay here in this trap all night to nothing? You selfish thing. I'll go. I'll go. Now then, Freddy, look what you got in here. Sorry. There's matters of fear, two bunches of violence thrown into the mat. How do you know that my son's name is Freddy? Oh, I see your son is it. Then if you would have done a better job as a mother should, then he wouldn't have run away without paying me. Would you tell me pay me then? Do nothing of the sort, mother. The idea. Please allow me, Clara. Do you have any pennies? No, I have nothing more than a sixpence. I can give you a change for a tanner, kind lady. Give it to me, Clara. Mother! Now! This is for your flowers. Thank you, kind lady. Mama, make her give you the change. This thing only cost a penny a bunch. Do all your time, Lada. You can give the change. Thank you, kind lady. Now tell me. How do you know the gentleman's name? I didn't. Yes, I heard you call it by it. Don't try to deceive me. Who's trying to deceive you? I call him Freddy or Charlie, same as you and yourself. If you were trying to be polite to a stranger. <laughs> Sixpence thrown away. Mama, you really might have spared that. Is there any sign of his coming? I'm afraid not. It started worse two minutes ago. Oh dear. So, but cheer up, Captain, and buy a, buy a flower up a poor girl. I'm sorry, I'm fine. Please, please buy a flower. Don't be chokes. Be a good girl. I really I have any shame. Please buy me a flower, please. Don't be chokes. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. I really have any shame. Stop, please. Here, here you are. Thank you, Captain. Hey, girl, be careful giving me a flower for it. There is a man behind taking down every blessed word you are saying. But I ain't done nothing wrong by selling my flowers, by speaking to the gentlemen who have their right to sell my flowers. I'm a respectable girl. Oh, sir, don't let me charge, don't let him charge me. I ain't done nothing wrong. You don't know what it means to me. There, there, there. Who's hurting you? You sell a girl. What do you want me for? It's all right. He's a gentleman. Look at his looks. She thought you were a cat. What's a cat? <laughs> well, well, a cat is a cat of the nice sex. What else will you call it? I, I said sort of informer. I take my Bible off. I never said a word. Shut up. Don't look like a policeman. Then why did you take down my words for? How do I know you took me down right? Just show me what you write me. What you write? You sit here. That ain't no proper writing. I can read that. I can. Just Captain and call your flower up on girl. It's because I call him Captain. Oh, sir, please don't let him charge me. Charge? I make her charge. Read it, sir. If you are protected, you don't need to protect me. She is a good girl. But this is business of yours. Taking people's work like that? Mind your own business. What harm if she did? Girl never said a word to you. 
take it down people's work. He ain't a cop. He's just a bloody busy body. I tell you, look at his books. And how are all you people here at Celsius? Who told you my people come from Celsius? Never you mind, they did. And how do you come to be up so far as? You were born in Nissan Grove. What harm is there in my living in Nissan Grove? It wasn't for a pig to live in. And I had to pay four and six for a week. Ah! And if would you like but stop that noise? A plane, for instance. I'd like to go into the house in question with you. I would. I'm a good girl. I am. Do you know where I come from? Oh, oh, well, you know everything, don't you? He ain't no call to bother with you. He ain't. Of course he ain't. Don't stand up from here. See here. What goal have you to know about people who never offer to meddle with you? Where's your warrant? Yes, what is your warrant? <laughs> Let him say what he likes. I don't want to have no talk with him. Because for fear, under our feet, don't you? That's your feet liberties with your hands. Tell me where he come from. Did you want to go for the belly? Cheltenham, Harrow, Cambridge, and India. Why right. May I ask for, uh, do you for you living at a music hall? I thought of that. I shall someday. He's no gentleman at all. He ain't to interfere with a poor girl. Boy, what on earth can Freddy be doing all this time? If I stay in the strong any longer, I shall get pneumonia. Aerostat. Would you please keep your impertinent remarks for yourself? Yes, I don't know. I didn't mean to. I beg your pardon. Your mother's had some unmistakable things. I'm very curious. I was brought from Epsom. Ah, what a type of that name, excuse me. And you want to come, do you? Don't dare speak to me. Oh, please, please, Clara. We should be grateful for, sir, if you found us a car. Oh, thank you. I know he was a plain clown cop. That's a 40 whistle. He's not right to take away my character. My character is the same to me as he, as I'm a lady. I don't know whether you've noticed it, but the rain stopped about two minutes ago. So it has. So it has. Why didn't you say so before? And I was listening to your silliness. 